Hey guys, I'm going to do a little video here talking about different types of uh, polymer clay and uh, what do I think about them, the ones I've used. And if you are interested in working with uh, polymer clay, I hope this uh, little video will be helpful for you if you've been um, interested in learning more about it or wanting to make interesting things out of it. But okay, let's go. Um, Sculpey and Fimo are the only major brands I've worked with. There's others out there, um, so I'm going to talk about them exclusively. This is my favorite brand out of all of them, is Super Sculpey. And this is the very first one I learned to work with way back in the early 90s. Figurines and doll heads and things like that are probably the very best suited to this because it has a, uh, as you can see, it's got a, has a kind of a terracotta look to it when it comes out of the oven. And I like the consistency of it. It's uh, it's soft. It's not soft to be squ like squishy soft, but it is uh, easy to work with and pliable. Uh, this is uh, Fimo. I had a bad experience with uh, some Fimo I got a long time ago. It was sort of like defective bricks or something. But uh, this one I got not too long ago. This is Fimo Soft. And it was marked down, so I figured I'd get some. And it was a little bit more firm than I expected. I, I guess it maybe it was a little bit older or something like that. Um, this is a uh, Sculpey 3. Sculpey 3 is probably one of the more softer ones, um, unless you count Ultra Light, which I don't have included here, but it's that's another one I like using. Um, and I really like uh, I like this one. Not everybody is crazy about Sculpey 3. It comes in lots of very nice colors. It's got a pretty soft consistency. You don't have to spend a lot of time kneading it, as you might some of the others. Um, the only drawback I've seen from clay that's more soft than others is that uh, you can mess up a detail on it easily. So if you're using it like is uh, with other brands, it's probably best to put the details on it last. Um, and this is translucent. I really like this because if you want to make light flesh tones it's it's or it's an interesting special effect it's good for that too can you tell translucent yeah right there um to give you an idea of how translucent sculpey and uh super sculpey which has the peachy color this is a figurine that i made years ago this is the uh super sculpey you can tell he's kind of got a, a peachy kind of look to him and this is the one I made using uh, the Sculpey 3 Translucent. And he's, you can tell he's a little bit lighter looking. Um, these are just um, figurine bookends I made that um, I had fun with. Um, moving on, and I'm going to show you some of the others I've got here because <laughs> i got a few more. Uh, this is uh, Sculpey Primo, which a lot of people who make jewelry really like this one. It's very firm, um, and you can do things like add colors. This is white, but it comes in a lot of nice colors, too. Uh, it's firmer than Ultralight, I thought, um, and more so than Sculpey 3. This is here. This here is just kind of a no-name brand I got from one of those dollar stores or something. So I guess you could say I was slumming it. But every now and then, if you need clay in a pinch, and it's... There's no harm in getting a brand that's not as, maybe not quite as professional, but it was okay. The other ones I got in the package. This is Sculpey 3 too. This is gold, and I like, I like it. This comes in the metallic colors. But um, anyway, uh, there's a couple on that I haven't included, and original Sculpey, which I, I use the white one, and it's it's pretty firm. It's more firm than this one. And some people don't like it. I did have maybe one project, and it might have later on, years later, I think one piece kind of broke off and I had to glue it back. But uh, other than that, I've had no problem with it. But there is a lot more to learn about polymer clay than what I'm doing in this video. But this is just my opinions and uh, what I've used and which ones I like the best. And oh, there's one more I think I don't have at the moment, just real quick. Sculpey Souffle, I really like that one too. Um, it's a lot like Ultra Light, but it's a little, a little bit more firm. Um, Ultra Light is is great for making things that you don't want a lot of weight to, obviously, like to hang on the wall eventually. Trouble with it is, is because it's got so much of that 
softness to it. It kind of, um, it's hard to make fine um, details and things that really you want to stand out. But you can do that more with these firmer ones like Primo. And this one here, Fimo, is also good for that too. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helps you out a little bit. And I'll talk to you later.